Hey guys, Alex here from Now Future, and today we're going to be looking at how to buy SafeMoon if you live in Canada. Now, SafeMoon isn't available to buy in many places, so for that reason, there's a few apps that we need to set up. That's why most people get confused when they try to buy it. Well, I'll show you the exact way to buy it, and it's actually really easy and quick. I'm also showing you how to do it cheaply because no one wants to pay those high transaction fees. By the end of this video, not only will you know how to buy SafeMoon, you also know how to buy hundreds or thousands of other altcoins because it's all the same process. So without wasting any time, let's jump right into the video. First, I'll show you what we're going to do, and then I'll show you how to do it. So there's three apps that we need. I'll start at the end here you need the trust wallet this is the app that will actually buy safemoon on this is a free app that you can download on ios or google play then you also need a binance account which you can see here in the middle of the screen if you don't have an account on binance yet all you need is an email address to sign up so it's super easy and lastly you need an account on a canadian crypto exchange you might already have one you might not popular options are ShakePay, endax newton doesn't matter which canadian exchange you use but if you want the lowest fees i recommend newton so that's all you need like i mentioned this last step inside the trust wallet is where we'll actually buy safemoon but the reason we need these other apps is because to buy SafeMoon, we have to deposit BNB here and we have to buy BNB somewhere. That's why we need a Binance account. And to do that, we have to have crypto in our Binance account. And that's why we need a Canadian exchange. And then we could buy crypto there and send it to Binance. So it's a few steps, but that's what you need to buy SafeMoon. And it's actually pretty easy when I walk you through it. Steps two and three are really quick to set up. The longest part is step one if you don't have a Canadian exchange yet, because you'll have to open an account and go through the verification process. I'll walk you through everything now. So let's go. So step one is to fund our Binance account. So this is where we need to buy crypto on a Canadian exchange and then send it to Binance. Now you can buy crypto directly on Binance with a credit card, but there's a minimum 2% fee and there might be extra fees from your bank. So I don't recommend doing that. We're just gonna buy crypto on a Canadian exchange and then send it to Binance because it'll be a lot cheaper. So I'm gonna use Newton. We're gonna deposit Canadian dollars into Newton, buy the cryptocurrency called Stellar and send it to our Binance account. I use Newton because it's one of the cheapest overall exchanges that I tested out of 11 options and it will cost $0 to send Stellar to our Binance account. If we send other coins or use other exchanges, they might charge you like 10, 20, $30 in transaction fees. We don't want to pay that, so we're just going to do this on Newton. If you need a link to Newton, there will be one below this video, and you'll get $25 free when you trade your first $100. Once you go through the process and make your Newton account, this is what it looks like. You can use the app or website, it doesn't matter. You're going to e transfer your Canadian dollars in here, it's free to do, and it shows up almost instantly. As you can see, I have some money in my account, and we're going to buy Stellar. So to do that, just click on the bottom right icon, which will take you to trade. Insert how much Canadian dollars you want to spend, and then click the cryptocurrency you want to trade. In our case, it's going to be Stellar, also known as XLM. So I'm going to buy $100 worth of Stellar. Now I'm buying $100 because in the next step, we need a minimum of 0.1 BNB. The reason we need that is because 0.1 BNB is the minimum amount to withdraw out of Binance in the next step. So $100 is more than enough to cover that. Keep that in mind when you're going to do this. When you're ready to buy, click swipe to trade at the bottom. And that's how you buy Stellar. Super easy. And now that we've bought it, we're going to withdraw it to Binance. So click withdraw, click crypto to wallet, select XLM. And now it asks you for the address you want to send it to. So now we need to go to Binance and get that address. If you don't have a Binance account, use my link below and you'll get 10% off trading fees. All you need is an email to sign up on Binance. So it's really quick and easy. Go ahead and do that now. So when you get to Binance, this is what it looks like. You can also use their website or their app. Both are really good. So you're going to click on the top right here where it says wallet and then click on fiat and spot. And this is where all of your coins and balances show up. Then in the middle of the screen here, you can search for coins and we're going to search Stellar or XLM. Same thing, both of those work. Then it shows up and on the right here, we're going to click on deposit and it takes us to this page. Then I blurred it out on the screen, but it shows us two things we need here, which is our address and another number called the memo. So you're going to take both of these numbers and enter that into Newton. So I just pasted both of those into Newton, then just double check everything, hit swipe to withdraw, and it will ask you to confirm. And as you can see, it says the fees are covered by Newton. Newton covers the first $5 in network fees. So if we try to send Bitcoin or something else, it would cost like 15, 20 bucks in fees. But because we're sending Stellar, it's going to be free thanks to Newton. And Stellar is actually faster than Bitcoin. It'll show up in our account and like like less than a minute. So I'll confirm and then we just wait for it to show up in Binance. Okay, now we have crypto in our Binance account. The next step is to trade it for BNB. As you can see, we have XLM here and then we can go over to this trade column on the right, click it and we're gonna trade it for BNB and that takes us to this page. This page might look confusing, but all you gotta do is look at the top left here and just check that it says BNB and it's the right pair. So make sure you're getting the right coin and then just go to the bottom here, sort of in the middle. And this is where all the magic happens. You have two columns here, one for buying and one for selling. We're gonna sell our Stellar for BNB. B. To do that, just click the market button here, go to this sell XLM column, sell 100% of it or however much you want and click this red sell button. Then it should go through instantly. And if we go back to 
to our account balances, we will see that now there's BNB in our account. Super easy. Okay, we're almost there. The next step is we need to download the Trust Wallet so we can send our BNB there. And that's where we'll buy SafeMoon. This can be downloaded on iOS or Google Play. It's free. You can pause this video and do that. It'll take you a minute to open a brand new wallet. But once you have it set up, it will look something like this. So you're going to click Binance Smart Chain. Make sure you click the Smart Chain one here. And that's what we're going to send our BNB to. So click Receive. And this is our address that we need to put into Binance. So I'm going to go back to Binance. I'm going to click Withdraw BNB. And I'm going to enter that address that I got from my Trust Wallet. And below the address, it also says Select Withdrawal Network. And it gives you two options. Make sure you select Binance Smart Chain. That's very important. And remember earlier on, this is why we needed 0.1 BNB because that's the minimum to withdraw. So we're good here, we have that. I'm gonna confirm everything and you can see me confirm it and then we're just gonna go send it and it should show up in a couple minutes. The fees are very low and that's awesome. And boom, now it's in our trust wallet. As you can see, we have BNB and we can finally trade this for SafeMoon. So that took about a minute or two to arrive. Now on a trust wallet, you're gonna click dApps at the bottom of the screen here and then you're gonna find something called PancakeSwap and click on that and it will look like this. This is PancakeSwap and you can trade a ton of altcoins here if you have BNB. The first thing we're going to do is click connect at the top right here and then you click trust wallet and now our wallet is connected to PancakeSwap. Then in the middle here you see we have our BNB balance showing up. Now click select a currency and type in SafeMoon. I already have it saved here but you're going to have to search it and it will show up. Then click it and you're going to see this message. So if you've researched SafeMoon you know that there's a 10% fee every time you buy it and every time you sell it. So click understand and then continue and now we have to click this filter button and and set the slippage tolerance. So the message told us to set it at 12%. That's what we're gonna do. And now you can put how much BNB you want to trade and finally buy SafeMoon. And that's it. I'm gonna buy some, put the BNB I want, and I'm just gonna confirm through all of this and it'll show you the fees and we're gonna go through this and boom, I just bought some SafeMoon. Now, if the transaction doesn't go through for you, make sure you check your slippage percentage again. You might have to try increasing it higher for it to work. But if you followed all the instructions, it should be good and your transaction should go through. Now, what you have to do is go back to your wallet, your trust wallet, Click the very top right button and then search the token SafeMoon and make sure you toggle this on. Otherwise, it's not going to show up in your wallet. But once you toggle that on, it'll show up in a couple minutes when the transaction goes through and that's it. Once it's in your account, you can keep refreshing it. And if you do that enough times, it'll just keep adding more SafeMoon in your account automatically, which is awesome because of how the tokenomics work. So more SafeMoon will be added automatically to your account. That's cool. To sell your SafeMoon, you would just do all these same steps, but in reverse. You'd go back to PancakeSwap and then click sell for BNB and then send your BNB be back to Binance, back to Newton, and then cash out your bank account. And that's the entire process. Hopefully this video was helpful. Drop a like if it was. Now you know how to use PancakeSwap and Binance and more. You also have the tools to buy hundreds of other altcoins which aren't available on Canadian exchanges. So that's awesome. You can start exploring crypto a little bit more if you want to. Links to everything are below. Make sure to use those if you want to get some free bonuses. And thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.